I chose YouTube for a lot of reasons. Uh, the better views, the positivity. It's a way for me to be me and for uh, me to express myself. I posted a lot of stories on Instagram and Facebook lately and uh, I had a private account on Instagram. I made it public to help with the views when I first started my YouTube channel. And on Instagram, I got a thousand views. I got uh, 900 views for like a couple days. And that was great and all. And then all of a sudden, bam, the door closed and I was getting less than 20 views, less than 10 views per video. Don't, don't even talk about comments because there weren't any, there, there weren't any comments. So I went from being private with just family and friends on my Instagram and I went public and got a thousand views, 900 views, and then it just shut the door. Like I decided to open my life to the world and the world said, no, with Instagram, or excuse me, with Facebook, it was the same thing. I made it public and I didn't get that many, couple hundred views and then the door shut again and shut down and I didn't have the views either. So with YouTube, it's taking longer to get the views, but they're slowly coming in and my videos are slowly, I got a couple videos with a couple hundred views, which is great for me and I'm okay with it. I'm here to stay, I'm here to do my thing but the positivity in YouTube, the feedback that you get when you make comments and people comment back and tell you, you know, it takes a while to get yourself going. You just got to keep after it. You just got to keep doing it. It's allowed me to be me. I didn't know I liked talking in front of a camera, but here I am talking in front of the camera and it's great. I like it. I really do. Um, I look forward to what YouTube has to offer in the future. Uh, I haven't really found the correct niche yet but I'm still searching for it. Right now I'm kind of doing product reviews and I'm getting some views. I, I'm getting some views, not what I'd like, but you know what, it takes time. Everybody says that YouTube is a marathon, not a sprint. And it definitely is, and I'm here to stay. I like it, I like YouTube a lot because they're just, it, they're helpful. There's another one, Instagram and Facebook, TikTok, I deleted TikTok. TikTok's gone off my phone. It's, that's just a waste of time to me. I know my wife loves it. I don't, I don't, but again, YouTube is helpful. People help you out, they give you tips. If you comment on something or if you ask for help, I've asked for help a lot of times and you get that feedback and people are more positive. Instagram, no. Facebook, no. Smack talking. YouTube is a positive place, they're helpful. Once you find your niche and you get an audience, you're gonna have people that are gonna follow you and stay with you. And that's what I look forward to. So right now, that's why I chose YouTube. I'm here to stay with YouTube. They're inspirational. It makes me wanna do things that I wanna do eventually. Find a niche that's gonna take off for me. And I'm still working on that. Like I said, I'm doing product reviews right now, but who knows what I'm gonna do in the future. Slowly maybe roll my channel into something else. I'm a Christian man, so maybe I'll go that route and see what happens. But right now, I want to do product reviews and just continue the positivity. And if I can help somebody, then that's what I want to do as well. And right now, I'm helping out a, li a, a little bit, but for the most part, people are up. Before I can help anybody, I need to learn. And I don't know how yet. So I'm here on YouTube to learn, to grow my channel, to get views, to get subscribers but ultimately to build a channel that my audience, you, whoever's watching this video right now, you wanna see. Product reviews with a sub-niche, Christian content with a sub-niche. I heard it's good to have uh, basically a niche that you do and then have a sub-niche with it. So I'm also looking for that as well. Uh, I work in the construction industry, so possibly go back to my construction videos with my GoPro and a lot of other things along that nature. But ultimately, I'm just here to grow my channel and learn. I wanna learn. YouTube, like I said, is a positive place. I'm, I, I wanna learn more about it. I watch videos all night long, not all night long, but for well into the night so that I can learn different things. Right now, I'm trying to figure out how to do overlays and keep you engaged and add B-roll to my videos so that you guys stay longer and enjoy the content. I wanna keep you engaged. That's, that's the goal 
uh, CRT and view duration. Well, click through rate, I don't really have yet. View duration, my videos are somewhat short. This one might not be so short, but we'll see how it does when I post it later this week. I really look forward to having you guys here following me. I really want new subscribers, so if you're seeing this, please go so and go so. What is that? What is go so? I don't know. Go so? Please follow or subscribe. Come on this journey with me. If you've got tips and tricks, I'm all for it. If you've got how to's and advice, criticism, you even see videos about criticism and dislikes or positive things. I think they are because you're watching and you're going to hit that button that says dislike. That means you watched. That means it's pushing my content. I'm okay with it because it's arguably good or bad. But I'm going to say dislikes are good because like I said, it pushes the, it pushes the narrative. So I appreciate you guys hit that button. And thank you for being here at Corby's Creations. Have a blessed day, everybody. I love you guys.